so we already know about corrosion is it is something when we put metal in contact with air it, it starts corrosion where the quality of uh, metal get degraded this is very simple corrosion that we already see it in very daily life but we have a new type of corrosion when the same metal is kept in contact with another metal corrosion then the rate of corrosion is totally different and that corrosion is called differential metal corrosion right now since um, we have two different electrodes in this corrosion that's why we can also say it as galvanic corrosion so we can see the example with iron and copper where iron is kept in contact with what, uh, copper so in this case the corrosion of iron will be faster because this is differential metal corrosion and in this corrosion iron is acting as anode because its emf value is less and that's equals to minus 0.4 volt right similarly we have another differential metal corrosion where we can see steel and copper right so the things which we should learn from here is the metal with less e naught value is going to act as anode and that's where the corrosion of that will take place so in the first case in this case iron is having emf of minus 0.44 and copper is having emf of 0.34 volt so it is copper is positive emf so that's why iron will corrode now there is an advantage also we can prevent the corrosion of iron by putting it in contact with a metal which is having less emf that we can see it from here where zinc is having minus 0.76 volt and iron is having minus 0.44 volt so in this case in this case zinc is having less emf so that's why zinc will act as anode zinc will act as anode so corrosion of zinc will take place and iron remain inact so this is the way so that's the positive things about this corrosion that iron can be prevented from corrosion by putting it in, in contact with zinc 